Just two weeks ago, Google announced their AI-generated version of Doom. It was great, but did it mean AI-generated games were right around the corner? Not really. Until today. Until Tencent just announced their own Game Gen O. Now, we can truly say AI is going to completely transform gaming. But what exactly is this new engine? How does it work? Is it truly a revolution? Well, stick with us, because that's all on the menu today. What is Game Geno? Imagine you're playing a game you like, anything that comes to mind. You're walking around the world. Let's say you're in GTA. Now, GTA isn't exactly a fantasy game where you can make anything happen, is it? But what if you could suddenly make it snow in the GTA world? Now, I know GTA adds snow during the holiday season, but you can't exactly turn it on whenever you want, right? What if you could randomly have snow? I know what you're thinking. That's impossible. Well, not anymore. Now, you could simply say, I want it to snow, and boom, there you have it. You're suddenly walking around a city filled with snow. That's what Game Geno is. It's like magic. It takes gaming beyond the pre-programmed storylines we're so used to, and it opens up a whole new world of infinite, dynamic experiences. Can you even imagine just how different GTA would be if you could control the weather or the characters, or even time itself? What would you change first? But before all these magical changes, you might be wondering where exactly this suddenly came from. Now, if you're a gamer, I'm sure you know what Tencent is. PUBG, League of Legends, Call of Duty Mobile. These are all games developed by Tencent, and this is the same company that is behind Game Gen O, which they have described as the first AI diffusion transformer for open world video game generation. Before we get into all the nitties and gritties of how it works, let's take a quick look at its trailer, so we know what we're getting into. Game Geno is actually the first ever diffusion transformer model, which is specifically designed in a way that it can generate open world video games. I know that sounds a bit technical, but in simpler terms, this is an AI that can generate open world games in real time right in front of our eyes. I remember the first time I played Red Dead Redemption 2 or even Assassin's Creed. I was actually amazed at how great the visuals and details of the world were, as I'm sure you all must have been too. But now imagine if these details could change any way you wanted in real time. That is what Game Geno is bringing to the table. We're talking about a whole new way of creating video games, something we could never have imagined before. For as long I can remember, gaming has been all about years of coding and creating assets. I'm sure all gamers remember how Cyberpunk 2077 took more than nine years to finish coding. To this day, it shocks me a little bit that a team spent that long to perfect a game. Well, no more. With Game Geno, AI is doing all of it, or at least most of it. This potentially means that a game that would have previously taken years of coding can now be created in a few hours. Crazy, isn't it? But I'm sure everyone is wondering, how exactly is it different from traditional game engines like Unreal or Unity? Well, for one, traditional game engines have always made use of elements that are pre-programmed, but Game Geno isn't just spitting out pre-programmed environments, elements, or characters. In fact, it actually simulates everything and creates them on the fly. Think of it. Dynamic environments that can change over time innovative characters that can respond to your commands in real time, diverse events and complex actions, all generated from scratch by AI. It does it all, thus pushing the limits of what we thought was possible in gaming. How it all started. An AI engine that can potentially take over all traditional game engines as we know it. This makes us wonder, how exactly did it happen? Well, it didn't just pop out of nowhere. In fact, Tencent invested some serious time and effort to get this AI engine off the ground. And don't be mistaken, the team didn't just throw in a couple of game clips into a machine and hope for the best. If only it was that easy, right? They actually compiled a massive data set, something they called O-Game Data. This was a massive data set specifically tailored for open world video games. And when I say massive, I truly do mean it, because this data set included 32,000 raw videos from many different sources, including the internet and game engines. The clips are diverse, ranging from a few minutes to several hours of gameplay, and in total, 4,000 hours of gameplay. And the best part? This data set includes over 100 open world games, from GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 to racing games. The Tencent team then filtered these clips down to about 15,000 usable videos, all of which were broken up into smaller clips. But that's not all. After that, these clips had to undergo scene detection, which means the AI basically sorted through all the visual and gameplay elements ranking and scoring in a way that only the best of the best makes it through to the next stage? What was the next stage, you ask? Well, adding detailed annotations, which included a human expert who was labeling all these clips and all their details, from everything in the environment to character actions. But on top of that, they also used GPT-4 and other multimodal language models to improve these annotations even further. The result? A highly interactive data set, 
also the core of Game Geno. This means that when we say Game Geno can generate its own gameplay, it isn't just winging it. It isn't just generating random content. In fact, this model is trained on some top tier content, which means it is capable of simulating visuals and gameplay as great as Red Dead Redemption in just a few minutes. For as long as we can imagine, gaming has been all about one unchanged world that you go through. But now, this AI can create and change the world we're in however we want. That's why we say, welcome to the future of gaming. The training process. But there's a lot more that went in towards the development of Game Geno. In fact, the real? It happens during the training process, which includes two major parts, foundation pre-training and instruction tuning. Okay, so first, foundation pre-training. In this stage, the team focused on compressing the video clips by making use of an autoencoder. This encoder was adapted in a way that made it perfect for the gaming domain, which means that it is capable of handling the many unique challenges that come with generating game-like content. This stage is where the model learned to generate text to video content. Essentially, what this means is that after this stage, Game Geno learned how to take a simple text prompt and turn it into a fully rendered open world video, for example, like in these examples. Not just that, but Game Geno can also take an existing video and continue it in a way that makes it perfect for open world game generation. But of course, just generating videos isn't enough to make it a game, is it? Well, that's where the second stage comes in, instruction tuning, which is where things get interactive. At this point, Game Geno knows how to generate high quality video clips, but it still needs the power to respond to inputs. That could be text prompts, operation signals, video prompts, basically any sort of input you can give while gaming. This part is what actually gives the engine the interactive control ability. Game Geno doesn't just generate content passively, like other AI text to video generators, but rather, it can also respond and adapt to changes based on what's actually happening in the game. This is why instruction tuning is such an important step, because it means you can input something like make the sky cloudy or make it snow, and the model will go ahead and do it. You can really go ahead and do anything you want. It really makes Sims modding look like a child's play. Also, you can go ahead and ask the model to move the character forward, and it will go ahead and update not just the character, but also the environment in real time, which is how you play the game. Game Changer Features Okay, so we know about the vast data set and the training process, but one big question of course remains. What exactly can it do? I mean, if just generating real-time AI content isn't enough. So, we all know it was trained on a large data set of different games. So of course it has the capability to generate high-quality videos of characters we've already seen, like maybe Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher. Take a look at this video, but forget about simply loading up a character model that already exists. Game Gen O can even create its own new characters. Imagine it, you can create your own game and any dream character you've wanted in games. The only limit? Your own imagination. Do you want a cyberpunk monk whose weapon is nunchucks? You got it. A vampire who rides a horse? You got that too. With this amazing character creation capability comes a whole new list of possibilities for players and developers, enabling anyone to build a detailed world with all new characters. So, what will be the first character that you create? But you know what's even more exciting than the character creation? It's Game Gen O's ability to generate dynamic, immersive, and ever-evolving environments. A desert landscape, a flower field, a futuristic, neon-lit street, a stormy beach, anything is possible. In fact, take a look at this video from Min Choi on X. Just look at how realistic the tsunami environment looks. Or look how amazing this spring environment looks. You can generate any sort of environment you want, and the AI handles it all in real time, which means that every action you take can have an impact on the next one, thus making the gameplay a lot more unpredictable and interactive. Everything we love in a good game. The future of gaming. All sounds good, but last time we talked about AI-generated gaming, it was Doom from Game and Gen from Google. It was pretty cool, but it didn't really seem ready to take over the gaming world right away. But with this new development, the answer to the question might change. Here's the best part of it. Game Geno isn't just something massive development teams can use. Small teams or even solo developers can make use of it and build high quality games in a lot less time than ever before. But here's the catch. What about intellectual property? I mean, at the end of the day, the AI is trained on older games. So let's say you create a game and your main character is inspired by The Witcher, or maybe even your environment is similar to it. So who actually owns this game? You, the developer, Tencent, the AI model? How does this work legally? And if this does take over, is it the end of originality in gaming? This is a question that the gaming industry has not yet addressed and could be a hurdle in this process right now. But there's one thing we know about AI, it keeps expanding. 
it keeps getting better. Maybe, for now, we can't fully interact with every game element in real time, but with time, it will be fixed. Maybe, there's no legal talk yet, but with time, the dataset can be expanded, and the AI model can become more capable of originality and bigger things. We know it's going to update and improve, and when that happens, it means that any creator can create games that are on the same standard as industry giants, like Rockstar Games. Even other than Game Gen O, we already have even bigger things happening, like the launch of Wonder World, which not only creates an AI-generated environment, but also dynamically changes based on your movement. So maybe soon enough, we're also getting a fully AI-generated virtual reality game. And while this technology sounds incredible, we've got to wonder will AI start stealing creativity from developers, or does it unlock endless possibilities? I personally think that with AI, it's not the end of creativity, but rather pushing the limits of how creative we thought we could be. But what do you think? Can AI really replace traditional game development someday? And if so, do you think it is going to unlock a new era of creativity? Or is it going to be the end of game originality? Let's talk about it in the comments. Also, if you're as pumped about AI and gaming as I am, make sure to give this one a thumbs up, subscribe, and tap the notification bell if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one with more mind-blowing updates.